Hello, folks. This is my Thetis software using the Anon G2. And if you're a subscriber to my channel, you know that uh, I live in a area that has a lot of power line RFI. And this is with the noise blanker off. And this is how it sounds like. I will enable the noise blanker. And Thetis does a awesome job to eliminate a lot of that noise. I haven't talked about it because I don't want to jinx it. Yeah, Elon was in an interview somewhere and he was talking about so like let me show you this new product a month that I just recently purchased. Basic to live off of. Good day YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. So in here in this QTH here in Atlantic Beach, Florida, in uh, Jacksonville, Florida, I have a lot of power line noise. And um, one of my YouTube viewers um, from Greece actually emailed me and he wanted me to try out this device. It's the Noise Reduction One. And uh, so I didn't get this for free. I actually purchased it and uh, we're going to connect it and uh, listen to the difference, how it reduces the power line noise. So according to Costa, his call is SV3ORA in Greece. This is a noise blanker and it what it basically does, any kind of transformer noise, insulator noise, motors from uh, appliances, electrical noise, uh, noise from solar panels, chargers, LED lamps, routers, and um, perhaps power line noise, you know, RFI, that it's gonna help reduce the noise. Uh, we'll compare this, this little gadget along with what the radio can do, the Anon G2 with the uh, software Thetis. As far as connecting this, um, you need to provide a, a 12 volt DC and you need to connect your push to talk trigger right there. And this, is, this uh, BNC connector is going to the transceiver your radio or your software defined radio and this port right here the antenna BNC will connect directly to your amplifier okay in the front you have five buttons knobs switches whatever you want to call them this is your on and off switch and it's nice to have an on and off switch because you can make the uh, changes with the NR1 and then you can compare it by turning it off here, the next knob is your IMD. This knob is for intermodulation with the NR1. There are eight positions, and there's no indication of which position you are. You just go all the way to the left, and there are eight positions. Uh, in the manual, it says position one is good for 160 meters. Position two is good for 80 meters. Three is for 40 meters. Four for 30 meters, five for 20 meters, and six is for 15 or 17 meters, seven is for 12 meters, and then position eight is 10 meters. But we're gonna test it for 40 meters. So that's all the way to the left. 40 meters is uh, position three. So all the way to the left, that's one, two, three. The next one is the gain. Gain is basically for noise cancellation. Um, basically you're listening to the signal and then you can increase it or decrease the gain. The balance knob. So turning it all the way to the left, you're basically increasing the interference. It's being amplified. And then when you move it to the right, it's the, the signal, you'll, you'll hear it, and it's the desired signal. 
that's the signal you want. So it's a balance between the amplification of the the signal that you want versus the interfering. The last knob is the output knob and you use this to set the background noise level to an appropriate level and be careful not to overdoing it to cause like distortion. So let's make this connections and let's try to compare it with the built-in noise blanker versus the NR1. That's a 12 volt power. This one is going to be my push to talk. This one here goes to the transceiver. And this one here, I don't have enough coax. So this one here is going to go to the antenna which is connected to the linear amplifier. So let me make that connection here. So that's how it all looks when it's all connected together. I'll be making the adjustments off to the right of my desk. This is just temporary for now. So here on 40 meters, if you notice, noise blanker is turned off. I have zero dB attenuation right now. I normally run minus 10. Let me go off frequency a little bit. I have a noise floor of signal 8. Noise floor of 8. It's very irritating. I'm going back on the signal. So this is the Anon with the Thetis software. I'm going to turn on Noise Blanker. See the noise? The Noise Blanker does a, an excellent job. There's Noise Blanker too. And then I'm going to turn off the noise blanker from Thetis. I'm going to turn on the noise blanker in R1. That overload, ADC overload is normal when I switched it from off to on. I'm just adjusting the IMD right now, the knob. That's on 160, 80, and that's 40. Yep, it says I've been working before. I thought you were working. And now I'm adjusting the, the gain. I'm going to try to adjust the balance. Yeah, well, repeater books are working again now. And I'm going to look at well, output now. Ed was uh, going to Johnson City. He don't live real well. He's over in the Carolinas. Johnson City a lot. And I was trying to find him some repeaters up there uh, to get into. But I think he's got about all of them now. Yeah, I've got everything I need now. Okay, so that's the NR1 doing the area? job. Well, I got one in Williamsburg and... It's uh, 440, I'm going to turn it off. And, uh, Here we go. Got Three, two, two one. In Williamsburg, C4FM, 146, 700, and six meter, 50, and noise blanker. And then I've got another UHF, uh, 30 miles from Louisville. That's the noise blanker on Thetis. to the Williamsburg. Noise blanker two. Off. And our one is on. Roger, on that where we're at, it's hard to get. Uh, it's hard for me to get across Clinch Mountain. Well, I can work 050 in Knoxville uh, from Williamsburg and Pigeon Point. And then I, I really so don't you make the adjustments while you're watching the signal uh, and listening to it. And uh, take it all the way into North Carolina and down towards Dawson. 
Yeah, yeah, on that machine, it's linked to several of them there. Hey, have you heard from Nathan? I talked to Nathan just a few days ago. Last time on HF here. Is he still honey bunning it? Okay, I'm going to turn it off again. I guess, yeah, he's still going in and clocking in. <laughs> I'm not turn it on. to him in a coons, AJ. Uh, he actually gave in a uh, local repeater over here. He, I've heard him uh, one time on the 7-3 machine over here, but he got going before I could get back in. All right, so NR1 is <laughs> on. What if I turn on noise blanker at the same time? Like 146, 470, I can't remember. It, it doesn't do a whole lot. But he, he was able to get in the, you see, uh, it brought the noise, it brought it down just a, just a little bit. Yeah. And our two. Then what now? Off. Well, I don't know from south, east, west, or north. I'd say it'd be redundant to use both, but. This won't be good for me when I'm operating remote control on the flex. All right, so I want to move the IMD. Yeah, it works on the third position, which is 40. Big old growth come up on top of his head, and they don't know what it is yet, but the doctor. If you turn down the the output too much, turn it down, you don't get any of this the signal that you want. So you got to get a balance. I can't believe he got rid of that radio for a for a for some kind of Kenwood. You're uh you're overdriving or something, man. Your audio is blurry. I'm just gonna cut this amp off. Hang on. It's off. It's on. Bravo. All right. We're on 40 meters, and I have zero attenuation down here. You notice I get a ADC zero overload. All this noise. The high level, that's the power line noise. I can use the Thetis noise blanker, but I need to also put 10 dBs of attenuation. And it, it does a job, but let's take a look at the NR1. Let's turn that off, turn off this noise blanker. I'm going to turn on the NR1 now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Back up to you, Albert. N3 YVW1 MBB. All right. Thank you, Matt. Take care of your 73 phone hour in over here. Well, Matt, I never heard you so speak. speaking in uh, he an sounds old language. I mean, I really good. Finish. You got me today really good Listen. with that. But I never knew that you speak to, uh, uh, French. It's off. I, I was blown away. But then again, it's like us with the Spanish, I guess. You it's know? on. Very cool, man. Uh, that's, that was pretty incredible. Uh, I gotta give it to you, my brother. Yeah, I lived in France for a while, so, you know, it's, uh, it's normal. I was telling him my ex-wife lives in the same town he lives in, in France. Uh, that's what I was telling him. And he said, well, um... It's off. He, he said, well, you should give me your name. Maybe I'll look her up. In our said, one on. Not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Ah, that's a good one. Okay, well, man, I'm telling you, man, that, that you sounded incredible there, man. My buddies are here on this frequency. We're just right 